What's going on, y'all? I'm going to show you how to track your drums out using the MPC element in Studio One. Uh, the MPC element comes with the software MPC Essentials, uh, which is a lighter version of the MPC software that comes with the Studio and Renaissance. Uh, the element, uh, or the Essentials rather, software only has one track. Uh, so Akai recommends that you use multiple instances of uh, the essential software if you want to separate your drums, uh, your kick on one instance, your snare on another. Um, the element has a track up and down button to allow you to flip through different instances. So if I open up uh, my other instances here, uh, using the track up and down, you can flip through the instances. Uh, this isn't the best way to work in my opinion. Uh, as you can see, your screen can quickly get cluttered and uh, without having multiple instances open, it's hard to tell where you are when you're flipping through instances. Uh, so, uh, in my opinion, the best way to uh, track out your drums is to record all of your, record your whole drum track into one instance on one track. Uh, from there, record the MIDI notes into Studio One, use the Studio One feature to explode to pitches, and then transform that to audio, and uh, you'll have your drums tracked out and separated. Uh, sounds like a lot, but it really is simple. Uh, so let's get into it. I've got my drum track here. I'm going to play it for you. That's a really nice uh, 808 uh, factory sound that came with the element there. Uh, but in order to record uh, your drum track into MIDI, the first thing you want to do is I've got a four bar loop here. I'm going to take this loop and I'm just going to extend it by one bar. And then I'm going to my type here in the essentials uh, software, I'm going to change to MIDI. And we're going to disable the input monitoring. And if you notice, my uh, my input is MPC Essentials, output MPC Essentials. From here, we're just going to hit record in Studio One and record uh, the drum track in as MIDI. The reason I extended the loop was if you if you record the loop in and you press stop before the four bars is complete, uh, you can end up cutting off a little bit of your loop. And if you hit it too late and it loops again, uh, you've lost your whole recording. So uh, what I do is I extend the loop and I stop it after the whole loop is played, and then I'll just shorten, shorten it back to the four bars. Okay, so from here I can just drag this back to five. Now, set my loop back to four. Now, I've got the MIDI notes in here and it reactivated my input monitoring, which is why you see my MIDI activity going crazy. Uh, just disable that. Now, uh, from here, I switch back to drums where I've got my pattern. I, I don't want to play this now because I'm going to hear my MIDI notes as well as the pattern that's recorded here. So I'm just going to, at the top here, uh, select an unused sequence. So now I have nothing here, and I'll be listening to just the MIDI notes here, which you can see uh, we have here. So there you go, nothing is in the essential software now as far as a sequence. Uh, we're listening to just the MIDI notes. So from here, I'm gonna select this and under instrument parts, explode pitches to tracks. So with this done, you can see in my mixer, Everything is still going out of uh, one track of MPC Essentials, but I have each sound now separated. So from here, I'm just going to select all of the tracks. Let's minimize this a little bit. Here we go. I'm going to select all the tracks. And we're going to transform to audio. Now I have noticed um, when I have remove instrument checked, sometimes um, the MPC Essential software will cause Studio One to crash. So in order to avoid that for this video, we're just gonna go ahead and, and uncheck remove instrument. In most cases, you would want it to remove the instrument because once you've transformed the MIDI into audio, you don't need the instrument anymore. So it goes ahead and uh, removes it for you. 
So So there we go. I have transformed uh, the MIDI notes to audio. And let's get rid of this here. You'll see now. I've got all my sounds separated as audio. And now I can uh, manipulate each sound the way I want. Uh, if I want to um, you know, compress it, pan it, EQ it, anything I want, everything is now separated into its own, uh, into its own track. Uh, so there you go. Uh, that's how you track out your drums in Studio One with the MPC Element. Um, took me a little while to get the Element up and running the way I want it to. I've got everything uh, going good now, so I'm going to have a review of it uh, by the end of this week. Uh, so be on the lookout for that soon. All right, catch y'all next time.